I'm here today at this beautiful marina in the North Shore of Long Island. We're here to meet Zach from Paddle Pub. Paddle Pub provides a unique twist on the party boat experience. With multiple locations around Long Island, the boat is pedal powered by participants with a certified master captain at the helm. Join me as we take a look at this unique experience and how becoming the go-to for pub crawls, bachelor and bachelorette parties, company outings, and much more. I'm James Webster, this is Owners and Operators. So Zach, thanks for having us here. Thanks for having us out on the boat. Appreciate that. Of course. Let's start from the beginning. How did you guys come up with the idea for the paddle boat? The idea goes back to a trip that Amanda and I took. Amanda is my partner. She's not here today, but we went to Savannah. Uh, so while we were in town and looking for other fun things to do, we saw the traditional party bikes. When we were there, we said, we actually went on one and we had a blast and we said one day, uh, hopefully this could be a venture that that we get on because it, it just it was so much fun many years later uh, during covid we were looking to do something and at the time I don't, if you remember getting a bike was like it was hard it was hard it was hard to get a bike exactly so we couldn't get a regular bike and it seemed fitting to get the circular six person bike in talking about that and actually getting into that business and looking to get some consulting info on it uh, the person we were speaking with happened to be the manufacturer of these boats. And Amanda being the water enthusiast that she is, it was a no-brainer that that had to be part of the equation at some point when the timing was correct. What goes into uh, buying and ordering a, a new boat? I would say the best way to describe that is it would be no different than if you were going to buy a car. Uh, you can go online, you can go in person, except the boat costs a lot more money. This is a very niche boat, so uh, there's only a few manufacturers that have the ability to create one like this. When I was looking at your website, I noticed that there's um, locations in other places. So, so yes. Paddle Pub is a franchise. Correct, correct. There's, uh, I believe, over 50 boats oh. in circulation. Uh, some of them are part of the franchise, others are not. But uh, yes, this is a franchise. Since we're still kind of in the beginning stages of, of our operation, it's key for myself and other members of management to fully understand every uh, department area of the business. For this business, we're looking at a 20 to 30 minute call to effectively set up a bachelorette party. Because wow. now we're going from a smaller group, a smaller party, to hey, this is a massive occasion that means a lot to you. So everything from collecting the guests' music preferences, we know in advance what they like to listen to. That helps us figure out which host we would assign to the party. So we have some ho hosts that are, uh, that are more into today's hits music and some hosts that are more keen to rock and roll. And music is a very important way to connect with our customer base. You know, knowing the age range is really important. And uh, for example, this boat is, our speakers on the last boat were all connected. There were four speakers on the boat. This boat has two speakers. So when we know we have guests of a certain age who maybe don't want it, that loud party music will strategically know in advance who's coming and place them in a certain spot on the boat versus the lounge dance area where those who want to really uh, get up and going, you know, will have that. So there's lots of in intricacies on that front, which makes scheduling and accommodating our staff really challenging. On our website, you know, we have all of our availability live and there's an option where you can select private and book it for yourself. And then there's an option where you can just purchase tickets. And those automatically become our mixer tours, which represents about half of our business. And those are really exciting and interesting and take a very special uh, host to effectively cater to all the different personalities in the room and the different group dynamics, right? Sometimes we have a group of 10 and a group of five. Sometimes we have three groups of seven. Sometimes we have eight groups of two. And everything as far as okay, uh, we're in the service industry, so we've got to make sure everyone's got their coolers full of ice. You're talking about your, your employees, and it seems that you, you really need to, not only is it hard to find employees, mm. but you're finding one of the master, uh, master yes. captains, and then first mates that are also yeah. uh, 
the life of the party. Where, how do you hire? We have, so just to talk a, a bit about our staff, one of our uh, most season's best hosts is, was one of our first customers over on the party bike. Uh, another one of our best hosts was, was a guest that we met while making a pit stop at one of the restaurants and was so enthusiastic about the operation. Uh, another one, there's a captain's club that we asked him to, to, uh, to come see the operation. And then you have your regular websites and, and so forth. And uh, so it's, it's really a mix. Most everyone on staff, it is a part-time thing and it works well with typical schedules because our busy time is when everyone's off Friday evening, Saturday, sure. Sunday. So uh, it does work well in that sense. And there's others that we have been able to bring on full-time during those months. So actually a funny story is that our uh, executive assistant slash operations manager, we met playing Call of Duty. Online. Online. We had played for five or six years and he was in business. He worked for uh, uh, one of Berkshire Hathaway's uh, companies, furniture companies, and he was an operations manager for 15 years. And, you know, we connect because we would essentially hang out and every few days and little by little, uh, he came down here for a trip one day and turned into uh, and then wound up moving here. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, he comes down just for the season now. Okay. Wow, that's, so, that's amazing. And without him, I mean, he adds a huge flair to the business. He yeah. brings the Southern hospitalities from Oklahoma. So that's amazing. That's uh, you know, you never know you're going to meet the next person, right? Yeah, exactly. So, you, so you guys are operating three boats. Correct. Okay. Correct. And where do you get the captains from? Can anybody just drive a boat? Or do you no. know to have a captain's yes. license? Yes. There is a very uh, so this is a Coast Guard certified vessel. There's lots of rules and regulations that go into it. All of our captains are master captains who have years of sea time uh, that are required to get the captain's license. So to get the master's captain's license, there's an additional course after the first one. So it's, it's a process. Uh, very experienced, seasoned individuals that uh, captain our boats. Yeah, I, I can understand that. What does the spring look like for you guys with the boats? Is there any preparation then? You have to clean them, paint them? Absolutely. So uh, getting in behind the scenes, what you just mentioned, cleaning, uh, painting, there's lots of maintenance. Actually, a large portion of the cost of the boat comes from these, from the pedal stations and the paddle wheel and the mechanics that go into this. So there is a, a handbook of uh, lots of little things that have to, to occur on the boat maintenance side. And probably one of the biggest parts of our business that, that we spend time on is the service side and the training that it takes. Our staff, uh, so our, our boats require a captain and a first mate, but that first mate isn't just a first mate. They're also the host and the life of the party. And we say that the experience, you know, getting on the boat and having a drink and being on the water and playing music, and that's awesome in itself. But in our minds, that's only 50% of the experience. The other half is the host. And they can really uh, change. I mean, they, they control and can steer the energy of a party sure. uh, with, with things that, that we do. And, and that takes months of practice, uh, two months exactly. So wow. there's lots of work that goes into really crafting each step from when a guest gets out of their car all the way until... Uh, they're leaving. So ironically, there's a there's a storm hitting Florida as we speak as mm. we're filming this. Um, but New York and, and Long Island is is not strange. We're not strangers to uh, storms ourselves. Yes. Have you guys had any thought behind that, or or what would uh, you know storm prevention look like, or what would you guys do in those situations? Mm. So having knowledge of of the weather is of course key. And we have our, our main captain who graduated from Maritime, who's very well versed in, in these lots of things that, that we will learn uh, going through these classes that we take to become captains, uh, what to look out for in advance. And it's really as simple as when we do get those predictions and you know, the National Weather Service lets us know, hey, there's an advisory, uh, it's not safe. So before we even have to make that determination, 
typically it's already done for us. Sure. What fair. would you say would be the hardest part about running your business? The anxiousness associated with quality control. And what I mean by that is this is where we can dive into what makes this business tick mm -hmm. and how much of a how much goes into the behind the scenes. And since there's so many layers and there's so much customization that happens on each and every tour for each and every single group and each and every single party, it's hard to make sure that all of those things are lined up exactly the way we want them to be. So what's next for the Paddle Pub? So what's next for Paddle Pub? We plan to uh, continue to look at other locations to be able to offer the boat and in different spots on the island to have uh, more access, accessibility to guests all over the island and just have different areas to see and things to do. Uh, Zach, I want to thank you and the team for, for allowing us the, the time and to, to get into your business and to learn a lot more about it. And you've opened my eyes to a few things and I appreciate that. Um, love to uh, to see more and to, to hear updates about you guys and, and what you guys are doing in the future. So yeah. keep in touch. Thank you so much for the opportunity yeah. to share and give a little bit more. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks for joining us today at Paddle Pub. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and look forward to bringing you inside more interesting businesses just like Paddle Pub. So be sure to follow us so you don't miss out. And if you're interested in having owners and operators showcase your business, please comment below and we will be in touch. Until next time.